This is Eva. She was stuffed in a box and left in the parking lot of a Bay Area animal shelter. The veterinarian refused to work on her because she was old, a waste of resources. The staff pleaded for her life and they struck a bargain. She could get medical care if they found anybody who would take her. And that's when they called Mudfill. And so they worked on Eva, they saved her, and she's the love of my life. She's an extraordinary little dog, and I just want to thank Muttville and Sherry for being there in Eva's darkest hour. It was her darkest hour, and that's the hour when people give up on you. Of all the animals in shelters, seniors are the least likely to be adopted, simply because they're old. They get passed over for puppies, and then they're euthanized. I remember, as being the shelter vet, being faced with an older dog of having almost a sense of panic of I want to help this dog but how how do I get them out? Whenever I've seen a senior dog it's been a sad moment for me because I knew that that animal probably wasn't going to have a good outcome. As a shelter volunteer Sherry Franklin watched for years as these older dogs, great dogs, loving dogs, would languish and then shut down and then die. In 2007, she founded Muttville Senior Dog Rescue. It started in her house. That first year, Muttville rescued 27 dogs. Now, with a leased facility and a still small staff, nearly 1,000 dogs a year pass through Muttville on their way to new lives. When I started Muttville, I knew that there was a hole in the rescue world, and I. I had no idea it was going to touch so many people and and really be as successful as it as it is. And she started to pioneer a uh, rescue effort that's really unequaled in the United States. She's truly one of our our superheroes that has demonstrated to everybody that the old and uglies don't deserve to die. They deserve another chance. They deserve a loving home, and she's there for them. Volunteers drive even fly dogs hundreds of miles to get their favorites to Muttville, from places where euthanasia rates are high or where particular dogs just don't have a chance. This dog, Teddy, was in a Santa Barbara shelter for months. At Muttville, he was adopted in 24 hours. We walked into headquarters and we could have taken 10 home. We're like, oh, we want you and you and you. When a dog comes to Muttville, it gets a whole makeover to start its new life. Volunteers assist staff in every part of the operation. That includes volunteer fosters who enable Muttville to rescue far more dogs than the facility can hold, but who, of course, sometimes fail. Muttville was like saying, you know, people want to, people want to see them. If you're not planning to keep them, you have to take them to the events and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, yeah, we just couldn't do that. We had to keep them ourselves. <laughs> we didn't yeah. want to put the adoption yeah. thing on, the vest on it. <laughs> if Muttville were a tech company, it would be called disruptive, reinventing the animal rescue. The usual approach to animal homelessness is to address the easy cases, the puppies, the purebreds, to make any kind of progress. But by rescuing the old and the uglies, Muttville has had a ripple effect. Shelters are following our cue now, and they are spending a little more time on their senior dogs and also working on the wellness of their senior dogs. Letting them see the success that we have at adopting out these senior dogs has really spread to them, and they are now putting some of their senior dogs up for adoption. Another innovation is Muttville's in-house vet suite. The time it takes to get a dog ready for adoption has plummeted. That means more dogs are rescued and they can start their new lives as soon as possible. I went over there and my eyes welled up in tears. I brought my, my partner with me. It was our day off. Him and I went in there and we left feeling so grateful that Muttville existed. This guy is little Jakey. This is Clementine. <laughs> She's feeling good. Yeah, we're kind of in love. We have adopters that have come back time and time again to come get another Muttville dog. They love working with us. They love our mission. They love our dogs. We have great dogs. A rescuer followed up an ad on Craigslist for an older lab. 
and discovered her lying in a driveway, unable to get up. And asked her, you know, what they thought they were going to do with her, and the plan was probably to shoot her. So we put her back in the car and took her home and thought, oh, you know, what are we going to do? And we were lucky enough that Sherry said that she could be a Muttville dog. I had just a wonderful temperament, obviously kind of a pain in the rear end, stubborn, but, but really loved life and paddling the air. And, and as she began to lose weight, um, I took her to the integrative medicine department at Davis and she wanted to walk. She wanted to walk. She just, she just couldn't. So that's how she was. It's hard to remember.